Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to be doing the clean slate contract. So for this contract we need to take three vehicle spare parts and bring them to village warehouse, storage facility, and construction site. So we are going to load up the pike here and we're not going to bring this all the way. This just is in the area, um, along with a few other trucks, just the four on grad over there. And, uh, and the Tatra Forest D815-7 and the Azza 5319. They just happen to be in the area because we just completed the last mission, which opened that warehouse. And so we're going to use this one. I guess I don't know why, I just kind of picked one of the three, or four really. And we're going to drive it part of the way there. And I think... I'm not sure exactly how I'll do it, but I have a Pacific P512PF waiting just up in front of us up here. And the reason we're going to use that is just because I drove it out to use it for the, the Reduce Reuse one. But I drove out like six different trucks and I only needed four. So... Yeah, I, uh, I had a few extra ones and I don't think I've used that one on on the phase 8 update for a while. I think I opened the garage with it maybe and that was you know a while ago. But uh, yeah we need three cargo. You can actually see it up there now. So I, I was thinking I could leave one in this truck. Oh my. Alright so I guess I didn't realize how much of a slope that was. But yeah, when I came down here, now you can kind of see why I was why I flipped over. So we'll just uh, take them. I don't know if I'll flip the truck over or not, but we'll just take them into this truck. And this was the truck I planned on using anyway, so it kind of just works out, I guess. And uh, yeah, if you guys haven't liked and subscribed, please do that trying to grow the channel and it would really help it out so I should probably set it back to day it's kind of getting kind of getting a little bit dark not too dark but I think I'm gonna set this down on top of here because I forgot to pack there we go let's do that quick pack grab it and we'll just set it on top of us here Yeah, we're trying to grow the channel, and I'm trying to say that at the start of all the videos, or at least closer to the start, because I am kind of remembering like halfway through most of the time. But yeah, if you guys want to see the channel grow, that would uh, definitely help it out by uh, getting the algorithm to promote the videos a little bit more. So that would be great. I'm trying to be careful here because we're turning on a slope and that's never a good thing. Alright, I think we're good. I'm not sure how I feel about these tires. I think these have one of the better grips in the game, if I remember correctly. I, th I don't think this truck can, uh, can have any other tires. I don't remember that either. There's so many trucks that it's kind of hard to get some of them um, keep some of them straight sometimes. I think the boar also, maybe the, I don't know. There's a few of them that I, I get mixed up with. You guys probably know that by now. I get mixed up with a lot of stuff. Gearboxes, the high range and freeway or whatever. Um, there's a couple more things that I always screw up. The contracts and contests, I've actually gotten a lot better at that. I, I don't really screw that up. I used to I used to say, oh, we're going to be doing clean slate uh, contest. Like, I would, it'd take me a while to think, you know, think about it and say what it was, and I'm like, oh, great. Like, I, I'd always guessed the wrong one. Um, I will show you guys here. I should have just done it when we flipped over up there. 
But I will show you the route that we're taking. This is a route that we've taken a few times now. And I've said this a few times as well, but the road down there isn't that bad. I just, this is faster. That's all there is really to it. This probably saves like two minutes or three minutes of time maybe. I would say it'd probably take you like four to six minutes maybe to get into town from the logging station. But if you do this, it'll probably take you about two. And there's no like two to four, it's just it'll take you like two. Um, I was I was trying to go around that tree, I thought I should go left and go over there, and I'm like, no, I should go right and go around it, and then I just ran right over it. But yeah, we'll drop this off, then I'll show you guys our location. And then... Uh, I'll reset it back to 1300 so it's nice and bright again. Let's go here. Cargo management. Deliver that. Then let's pack. Unpack pack. Restore crane. And shut this off. So this is on Heartlands. This is the bottom. This is where we got the, the warehouse here from the last mission. That's where we picked up the parts. We went out. We went up here. And then here's where we flipped. Then we went up to the logging station and followed this. And we just kind of took this path here, down onto this road, and then around. Now we're going to follow the main road all the way up, drop one off here, take this, go all the way up to here. Should be a pretty easy one. We will probably stop to get fuel. Well, I'm going to stop by the garage for sure, which is just up here. I think I'll probably steal it from the Azixi um, up at the second drop or I guess technically, wait, yeah, second drop point. At the second drop point, and then we should be able to get to the third one pretty pretty easily, I think. Let's see, we're burning 14, well now 11. So 10 to 15 probably per minute. Okay, so I just stole all the fuel. It, it only had like 80 left. So I took all 80. And then I recovered it, which is just right there to the garage, and just drove it back out and gave myself some more fuel. So now we're, we're fully topped up. I think it was like 120 or something. I don't remember what we were at. I'm just kind of checking out the spacing between those back wheels. I don't know why, I just randomly thought about looking at it, so... <laughs> I know the, the Taiga 6455Bs are really close, and there's a lot of other trucks that are pretty pretty well spaced out. Alright, well that went really well. Normally that, that crossing gives us at least a little bit of trouble. I wouldn't say trouble actually, it, it just slows us down a little bit. and We did end up slowing down on the hill, but normally it slows down quite a bit more. But yeah, it looks like the drop point will we'll whip around. Actually, we'll just steal it from the crocodile. Because it doesn't look like we need to go that far. The Zixie's just up there, but the crocodile's a little closer. Or even the generator. Uh, crocodile, there we go. So I don't know what, what that was, like 20 or something, but... You don't want to run out. I got this fence piece here. I hope it doesn't... Uh... There we go. Got that dropped off. And the fence piece is gone now. I didn't even see where it went. Now we just got to go down here, take a right, one more river crossing, and then we're up into the, the third part. Last area. Yeah, that slowed it down. I was, I was kind of curious, since I was already in fourth, if it would slow down or not. I, I think a high is normally between like third and fourth or something like that but it's it's helpful when you're going uphill if you keep having to slow down and speed up and slow down and speed up or whatever so dang log one flying I'm gonna put it in low plus and we got diff lock on let's see if that helps us to go any faster through here 
Uh, not looking like it. That log is right in the way. Okay, let's try going to the left. There we go. I run a lot of off-road gearboxes in, or fine-tunes in the trucks. But these maps, I feel like they're almost better to have the, the high range or freeway or whatever they are. Ooh, I was trying to just barely miss it. And I just barely hit it. All right, come on. Really? This right here is the reason why I don't like to use a lot of different trucks. You could say, oh, well, why don't you put it in low plus and whatever, but it's like, the truck was completely stopped. And I just... There's a lot of other trucks that would still at least be slowly moving, even if you have it in auto. So, that's kind of the reason. They're just, uh... A little bit better in some spots, but I don't know. You guys will have to let me know down below. Have I been doing a good job of switching up the trucks? There's a lot of trucks that I still have yet to use, but like 20 of them are scouts, you know. All right, we're turning sharp to get in here. There we go. This is the last contract for a while, I think. There we go. Clean state, ecological crisis averted. 410 and 400, or 410 and 4,600 for that. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. As always, stay tuned till the next one. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload, and until next time, peace.